always wanted to go to Hawaii. Since when? Since ever. But it, it's so expensive, and that is why I cannot turn this down. You understand, right? I understand you're leaving the country tomorrow and I won't see you for a month. Do I get what the rush is? No, I don't. It's Libby's big surprise. She planned everything. Fine, go then. Have a great time. Oh, Isaac, don't be like that. And you're studying. Think of what a distraction I'd be if I stayed. I get the feeling it doesn't matter what I think. Evening. Hey, guys. Hi. Um, have you guys heard about drinks at the IV tonight? It's a bit of a staff get-together. First I knew of it. That's nothing new. I was going to tell you, but we were talking about Hawaii. Oh, what's this? I'm going tomorrow to meet Libby. Oh, four weeks in the sun without me. Is that your way of asking for time off? No, it isn't. Anyway, I said I'd be at these drinks. Are you coming? Well, go on, get out of here. Bye. Later. Dallas is at his dad's, Harry's at a sleepover. Once I get the surgery out of the way, the night is all ours. It's a shame you have to work. After that news from the Ministry, I'm in the mood to open a bottle or something. Well, there's always later. Just getting the wipe out, go. I said no. You clean out your room and get going before somebody sees you. If you don't help me, I'll make some trouble for you. <laughs> You really are making trouble for me. 50%. 250 grand. That with your risk. Are you upstairs? That's a yes. Upstairs. Don't come down here again. <sighs> okay, what if I did ask Chris for time off and he said yes? Would you actually want me to come to Hawaii? Well, that'd be up to you, wouldn't it? I mean, because you're the one with exams coming up. That's a no if ever I've heard it. Fine, Isaac, ask Chris then. And if he says yes and, and you want to fly out for a few days? Flight 10 hours each way for a few days. No thanks. Doesn't matter what I say about this, I'm going to be wrong, aren't I? Just do what you like, Isaac. I will, don't worry. You haven't heard from Brooke tonight, have you? No, she's taken a couple of weeks' leave. She said she'd stay local, but might have popped off somewhere. I don't think so. She was in triage today with her mother. Are you sure? And it's meant to be in rehab. Uh, not anymore. Sorry to eat and run like this. It's fine. You'll be here when I get back? Let's see how it goes. If the surgery drags on, don't worry, we can catch up tomorrow. Why do you want to take things so slowly? Chris, please. Trust me. I'm not normally like this. I'm usually the keep some distance guy. But I really, really like you, and I want us to get serious. I want the kids to know we're together. And I don't. Why not? I told you. I would never encroach on David's territory as Dallas's dad, not in a million years. But maybe you know that. Maybe there's something else. I'd hate for Dallas to get too attached in case in case what? In case we come to nothing? Is that what you think is going to happen? I didn't say that. What do you want, Zoe? Forget your son for a second. What do you want? I want you to stop being so damned pushy. Honestly, Chris, we've already had this conversation once tonight. If you're trying to ruin things, you're doing a great job. He's giving me a hard time because I want to go to Hawaii. I mean, how often does it sound like that come along? Oh, for him, probably once every other school holds. True. That family's rolling in it. All the more reason he should be happy for me. Mind you, if it were Maya leaving tomorrow, I'd be pretty miffed. You'd be jealous you weren't going to. Jealous? We weren't going together. I would miss you. I'd find a way of getting you up there. Isaac could go at the drop of a hat, couldn't he? Money is no problem. <sighs> He's got exams. Anyway, Libby is my sister. It's my holiday. Why shouldn't I go by myself? Sounds like someone wants to fly solo. <laughs> should Isaac be worried? Hi. You're waiting for Chris. Not that he expects me to. We had a fight. Snap. Oh, I thought you and Tanya would have worked things out on the way to the pub. We didn't. I'm not sure I even want to now. Really? Truth is, I don't think I make her happy. Hmm. I find that hard to believe. You know how it is. The chemistry's there, it's there. If it's not. 
So you're breaking up with her? Enough about my problems. You and Chris. Oh, well, like I said, we argued, and I don't know if I should be waiting for him or not. Well, it depends what the argument's about. Why don't you tell me? See what I think. I'm not kidding. He threw the lot at me. Custard apple bowl? <laughs> right down my front, the grumpy old sod. I almost scooped it back up and threw it back at him. <laughs> but she didn't, because that's not what nurses do. No, we have more subtle ways of exacting revenge. Oh, stop it, Nicole. You'll give Penny completely the wrong idea. Oh, look, there's Tracy. I'm meant to be job shadowing her first. Hopefully she'll show me how things are meant to be done. Well, of course she will. She's a marvellous nurse, just like these three, when they're not being silly about it. <laughs> What's she like, Tracy? Oh, she's hard as nails. Used to be a cop, you know. You'd better watch yourself. Really? She's just winding you up, Tracy's <laughs> lovely. So she's not a cop? She was. She used to work undercover. But she left the force to go back to nursing. She's still got that cop thing going on sometimes. Guilty until proven innocent. It's a bit mean. But it's a bit right, too. OK, good to know. Hey, TK, you're a doctor, right? True. Uh, tell Kieran he needs a checkup. He can't shake his headache and I reckon it needs a look. Maybe a scan or something. He's just got out of hospital. Yeah, exactly. You know what he's like. He thinks he's Clint Eastwood in one of those old westerns. Ah, Kieran. Um, yeah? The boys tell me your head's giving you trouble. No, it's nothing major. Any problems with your vision, your balance? No, I'm fine. Appetite normal? What is this house call? Pretty much. <laughs> I think you should um, make an appointment just to be on the safe side. Yeah, right, I will. You happy now? Happy. <laughs> you know what does give me a headache? What? Ferndale, I'm over it. Well, maybe it's time for a holiday back to the UK. Mm, come back for what? Sophie's moved on and all that's left is a load of boring hassle. Well, you've got me. And all this. Yeah, all this. Do you know what? I think it's time to put this place on the market. Whoa, maybe you should just take that holiday. No, there's going to be some changes around here. It's time for some action.